my uh, comedy has been compared to orienteering. Uh, <laughs> yeah, in that we do lose a few people along the way. Uh, and it often ends with me having a piece of paper going, I swear to fuck this made sense when I wrote it. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm going to do some uh, poetry for you now. So the first poem I'm going to do for you, it's a poem by, about my mother. And this poem is called Ode to My Mammy. <laughs> Stop criticising me! <laughs> Thank you. That's that one. Yeah. Uh, here's another one, and uh, this uh, this is one is based on uh, an event that happened in Galway to me. Mitching off a physics class to go swimming with your friends, and when you jumped off a really high bridge. The upward force of the displaced water caused the tampon inside you to work its way into your womb and it took you 22 hours to get the fucking thing out. Um, th that, that one's called Learning Archimedes Principle the Hard Way. So uh, I miss the Celtic Tiger folks, uh, I miss it. Uh, um, I grew up in rural Ireland and it was quite an inhibited place and uh, I, I feel that during the Celtic Tiger I was able to lose my inhibitions in a way that I never had before. Uh, for example, there was one week during the Celtic Tiger where I got two taxis. <laughs> yeah. Uh, both times the taxi driver was black. Yeah, I got into the second one, I said, well, is it yourself? <laughs> No, no, but you see, it turns out it was two completely different black men. <laughs> they didn't even know each other. <laughs> or Nelson Mandela. <laughs> That's why I, I, I like to do comedy because I, I get to say things like that. You get to say things, you know, that you wouldn't ordinarily get to say uh, in, in a conversation. Here's the thing you can't say at a dinner party. You can say what you like about Larry the paedophile, but he had a lovely singing voice. <laughs> Fondler of children he may be, but when he hits that high C, there isn't a dry eye in the house. Uh, uh, I, uh, I teach kids, you know, I, I teach maths to uh, children after school. And uh, one of them recently uh, said to me, said, uh, my teacher saw you doing comedy and she said that you weren't very funny. There are lots of jobs, you know, that you can coast along in, folks. Um, you can be the Minister for Finance in Ireland in an economic boom, <laughs> fuck the whole thing up and still manage to become the Prime Minister. Uh, you can be in charge of a big oil company, the biggest oil company in the world, you know, and, you know, make a huge environmental disaster and still walk away with a big pension. But you can't be a comedian if you're not funny. Now, I'm not complaining about that. I'm delighted I have a job. But you'll forgive me when I say that I got a little bit defensive with the child. Uh, <laughs> And obviously what I wanted to say back to him was, you know, well, if your teacher was any good at her job, I wouldn't be sitting here with you at five o'clock on a fucking Friday evening. <laughs> but I didn't. I just took him outside and taught him Archimedes' principle the hard way. <laughs> um, folks, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you. Good night.